What's up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are in the Dream Media Home Theater here in Kellen's home, our national sales director. If you're interested in listening to this theater, experiencing this center, you can fly in to Nashville. I'm gonna be doing a full-blown video with Kellen, a detailed video showing the full process, the evolution of this theater room. You guys are always asking in the comments about this space, but we haven't done a start to finish video. What's really unique about this project is this was a garage. We are technically in a two car garage right now, but you would never know it. Kellen did an exceptional job and used a lot of best practices when building this space where literally you have the slab and he built this room from the ground up. We have a lot of industry leading gear in this space, which we're gonna get to towards the end, but I did wanna just do a video focused on the build process, configuration options, everything that went through Kellen's head when he was building this home theater because you guys will be able to pick his brain if you're building your own dream home theater. So I hope you're able to get a little insight into how it went down. Anyways, guys, if you'd like to purchase, give us a ring. Let's get into this video. What's up guys, Kellen here with Dream Media Home Theater. Would like to thank Zach. None of this would really be possible without you know Dream Media. Yes, I do work for Dream Media, but obviously Zach's resources, partnerships with our manufacturers made all of this possible. After talking with Zach on, you know, what could we do to build maybe not the most insane home theater that's ever been seen online, but something that is still very cool, something that is definitely high end, but is still obtainable. You know, we ultimately came to the decision like this is where we could build a very nice home theater. So within that 36 by 38 space, you know, we were able to comfortably accommodate a theater that was about 30 deep and then uh, 18 wide. And we were able to still keep the uh, 12 foot ceilings here in the center. This was all a, you know, pitch in from the family. So um, that was another memory in itself. You know, that'll be something that I'll remember forever. You know, building this room with my dad and my uncle. Framing the room, pretty simple. Really wanted to do something that was focusing your attention to the screen and future proof at the same time. Chose initially not to go with an acoustically transparent screen. I think that's probably the biggest hate comment I get on the room was, why didn't you do acoustically transparent? Your tweeters aren't level, blah, blah, Eventually, maybe one day, we'll have an LED wall there and you can't put speakers behind an LED wall. So that's the route I chose. So framing it out, we had the left and right flanking to basically add the toe in that was correct for basically here. Um, we did have a center chair at the time. Now that we have the D-Box loungers, still sounds phenomenal. Um, we have the center channel below the screen, obviously. This is and not an exterior wall, but a shared wall to the garage. So wasn't really too worried about it. Um, this is a offset double studded wall. And this, uh, the left wall was a, it's an offset double studded wall. So we did it the most cost effective way possible um, from my standpoint, which is basically you build a wall and then you leave uh, about an inch air gap and then you offset another wall so the vibrations that are happening on the inside aren't transferring to the outer wall. Basically how apartments are still built today. That was kind of the, the bone structure of the theater. And then we did the rock wool insulation. Then came the uh, double 5 8 drywall. This room is super quiet. I can play this room loud as I want it to be. And you can still hear it inside just a tad, but if you shut any of the bedroom doors, at that point, you cannot hear it. Continuing some of the style that's in the house, we have shiplap. It's kind of a modern farmhouse type of feel. So you can see the shiplap on the bottom uh, that's painted black. Some of the trim work, you know, it's more of that modern farm style, the trim work around the door. Want to keep it somewhat basic, but still add a little bit of style in here as well. So I knew what color the acoustic panels would be, you know, mainly black. 
uh, shades of gray and wanted to continue that in here as well. So the ceiling is painted black. The front wall is painted black. The bottom shiplap is painted black. We went with zombie gray for the wall color and a black magic is the black color that is in here. And then as you can see in the ceiling, that is you know a diffusion combo panel in itself. So behind the wooden slats, and uh, I have to give my wife some props here, she did stain every single one of those slats herself. We were able to put a uh, insulation duct type of fiberboard. It is able to add a little bit of absorption to the top here. And then with adding the wooden slats, it creates basically a combination of absorption and diffusion. That helps a lot of the primary reflection points and reflections in general off of the ceiling. Obviously, you can look around the room and see the absorption panels, diffusion panels. And then if you take a look at the back wall, that is you know, a design that I came up with. It took forever to add all those little pieces of trim and caulk and paint, all that, but I think it turned out pretty great. That theme, so to speak, kind of carries out throughout the rest of the home as well. If you go up into our two channel hi-fi room, I kind of have that same center panel as the focal point in that room with backlighting on the sides. We were able to put some space in behind the screen wall to create our baffle wall for the subwoofers. And the grill that covers those subs to where you can't really see them is drawing inspiration from my favorite movie, Inception. Inception was uh, produced by Syncope, which is a production company for Tenet. A lot of Christopher Nolan movies and so um, his syncope logo is like a Lambreth maze type of look and so that's where I drew inspiration from that the look the feel the sound with the Focal 1000 series you know it is uh, definitely served its purpose for not only movie watching and that enjoyment but for me as a parent to have those moments with the kiddos and friends and family, you know, that's more important to me. And so I'm glad we have a space to where we can uh, fulfill those um, wants on my end, you know, anytime we want. And so after the room was kind of designed, uh, that led us into what equipment was going to be in here. So from the help and partnerships that we have in place with some of the manufacturers, we definitely wanted to showcase some of the, the best and reference uh, pieces of equipment that are vastly considered the best of the best. Just starting off from the top of the chain down to the bottom here, we have Kaleidoscape and Apple TV as our main sources. And that feeds into uh, a AV processor uh, for that, we're using the Trinov Altitude 16 processor and their amps. Uh, the synergy between the two is fantastic. The noise floor is silent in here. You don't have a hiss or a buzz coming out of your speakers. The Trinov will send the video signal into uh, the MadVR uh, NV Extreme. Uh, and this is now we're on the second iteration to that. So this is the Mark II. You have uh, the video signal ultimately ending at the JVC NZ9. This is uh, currently JVC's flagship projector, 100 millimeter lens. So the picture is really sharp. You know, this is their brightest projector. It's laser. All of the best technologies right now in terms of a projector standpoint. You can't overstep, you know, JVC's DILA technology, their black levels are superior to any projector out there today. That image is being projected onto a 150 inch 16 by nine Stewart film screen, uh, Studio Tech 130. This is a wall screen deluxe, so it has the thicker border. Uh, really like the classic look of the uh, the projector screen on here. And uh, you know, whenever you're into it, the lights are off, the projector's on, you're watching something, it looks absolutely fantastic. On the flip side of the video is the audio. So we're running a 926. You have nine speakers as your bed layer, which are at your height. Then you have your two subwoofers, and then we have six Dolby Atmos speakers for overhead effects. We have three of the Focal 1000 Utopia in walls. So that is gonna be their flagship in wall speaker that is gonna be used for the left, right, and center channel. Front wide, side surrounds, and rear surrounds. We're using the Focal 1000 IW6s. That's gonna be their monopole surround in wall speaker. And then we're using the Focal 1000 ICA6. Our two subwoofers are gonna be the RTJ 18 inch subs. 
um, really pressurize the space and add that you know uh, really hard hitting bass in the in the theater. We had a fully uh, designed and implemented uh, Vicoustics acoustics package. So this is our large room package. Uh, it's a mix of cinema round, absorption panels, uh, Waywood diffusers, and then we have our uh, DC3. Uh, they look like Tetris uh, diffusers in the back. So really cool style, really cool look, but they definitely serve a purpose. If you have the money to upgrade your speakers and you don't have acoustics, definitely do not overlook acoustics. I think that's simply the biggest impact and upgrade you can make to any room. We knew we wanted to stay comfortable, so we're using a mini split uh, unit from LG. A lot of the mini splits that you see out there are white or white gloss. Um, this one's kind of cool because it fits the decor, but you know, keeps the room comfortable. The leather seats, you know, they can get warm if, they, if they're not breathable. You can get stuffy with a bunch of bodies in here. So you, you're keeping it cool, but also being quiet is important. And that leads us to the hush box of the projector. Keeping the thermals and the ventilation of the projector is definitely important. But what's something that can take you out of the movie is realizing, yeah, I'm not in that movie. I'm in a theater because I hear that projector buzzing. Uh, the projector fans are kicking on right above my head. Sounds like a supercomputer. Being able to mitigate a lot of the sound inside the room just adds to the dynamics of the audio of the movie. So having that box, uh, yes, it's pretty large, but it's able to move air inside of it so the projector stays cool. There's actually a ventilation fan that's on the other side of the wall that ventilate, ventilates that warm air out into that space. Um, it's able to draw cooler air in from the front. It's essentially silent. You don't hear the projector at all when the movie is playing. Kind of brings us to our last point. You know, you can have the movie going, but if you're not comfortable in your seat enjoying your movie, that can also take you out of that moment. And so, you know, used to be the front row of chairs were the most comfortable. Uh, the Valencia uh, Ultimate Luxury Editions, I had these setting up front here and it was a mad dash. You know, gotta get one of those Ultimate Luxuries because they're super comfy. Whenever the movie's on, obviously there's a dog pile on these because they will move with the movie with D-Box. You do need to be comfortable um, in your theater, whether that's climate or setting, you know, the chair that you're seating in. So you can just sit back and relax and enjoy the show. You know, something that often gets overlooked as well. It's certainly like, like I said, not some of the craziest rooms that you've seen out there on YouTube. Could not ask for more. And of course, you know, we really enjoy the company and uh, the friends and family that always want to stop by to watch a whole movie or just watch their favorite scene to show maybe a friend that's with them coming by and passing through. I mean, it always puts a smile on my face and I know it leaves a, a, a lasting impression for them as well. Wow, Kellen, you absolutely knocked it out of the park with this one. I hope that you guys enjoyed the walkthrough on this killer home theater system. If you're interested in building your own dream home theater, reach out today for a free video consultation to get started, or you can schedule a visit to one of our showrooms. We have this one here, which you can fly into Nashville. We also have other experience centers around the country on the East Coast, West Coast, and down in Texas. We do more than just build and sell home theaters. We now have a premium club that you can join called our Dream Media Plus Club. We go a little above and beyond. We create a full blown rendering, 3D animation fly through, a conceptual design, and we bring your vision to life. We can literally digitally map out every single aspect and create not only sight line, seating chart, screen size, speaker layout, but also pick out the exact fabrics, the exact sconces, the exact colors for the space, the design of the room, and bring that to life for you. We're really getting heavily embedded into this way of fully taking on the project and bringing 
y'all's vision to life. It's been a really fun and inspiring last couple years, and uh, we're gonna continue to evolve and bring the best of the best uh, audio, video, as well as design practices into all of y'all's builds. If you're interested in purchasing or building, reach out today and uh, start the process. If you like this video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach and Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.